Fins and Sharks, it's Vegas here and I hope you're doing well. There's not a lot to eat right now inside of the pyramid. So we're gonna go ahead and see if there's anything at the little oasis outside. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Good timing. All right guys, let's get down the old inclinator here. All right guys, so we actually have to head out this way towards the casino first, and then that'll take us down to the pool. All right, so leaving the 4B area, so the 4B for elevators, uh, yeah, the 4B ones and the 4A ones, basically just leaving from the check-in counter, you go down this way, and it's pretty much a straight shot down to the pool slash salon. All right, guys, so here's what we're at. This is what you can't bring. Outside food and drink, coolers, gas and cans, luggage, weapons, <laughs> drugs, or umbrellas, but we've just got cameras and batteries right now. Fitness center's over this way too, if you guys are interested. But right now, let's go straight to the pool. <sighs> Man, it is hot out here today. Easy 70 degrees. All right. But here we are, guys. Oasis. Poolside at Luxor. It's the entrance. Let me go ahead and hand him my card. And we're going to get in there. All right. Pools are open, guys. Let's get in there. So we can grab a little towel while we're at it, too. And let's see here. Probably pick up a towel here, too, while I'm at it. Oh, uh, yes, please. Oh, uh, just one. Awesome, thanks, big guy. You too. All right. Okay, cool, cool. So we'll find a spot in a minute, but let's go ahead and do a little walk around here, see what it's like. So once again, the, uh, oh, surprisingly, the hot tub is still kind of cornered off, but you know, it's hot out right now. Can't remember the exact temperature. It feels like it's at least 70. Yeah, guys, it's about 72 degrees right now, so it feels pretty good, honestly, if we're adding about. So, yes, once again, we have all the cabanas on either side. You'll have seen that earlier in the video. And, yeah, the whole main pool is surrounded by cabanas. It starts from one over there and goes clockwise up to about uh, 16 over there. So... We'll get back to the main pool area in just another minute, but we'll have a look at the Oasis now. All right, Oasis bar is still open, so not too bad. And then we actually have the Oasis pool here. We tried to get a good look at that earlier, but we couldn't. And now we can actually get a little walk around going on the Oasis pool. So normally there's a snack bar here that seems to be closed due to social distancing restrictions. So we mainly just have the pool to enjoy with those little, uh, I actually do like those little wedges in there so you can just kind of pool hop. It's like a lily pad, only ancient Egyptian. This is the main pool area here. I feel like there's usually like a waterfall coming down. I think they might have turned off some of the water just for uh, the way things are. Uh, 
It doesn't look like the back pool is open right now, which is fine. It's still a little quiet and it's early. I think it's only 11 o'clock on a Friday. So it makes sense that the uh, back pool is closed. And yes, the Oasis snack bar is right over there, but that is closed currently. And then you just take a left to the restrooms. But that's about it on this end. Let's go ahead and run around to the other side and see what's on the other side of the uh, little mausoleum here. And then looks like uh, the section of the pool is also cornered off right now. Again, probably due to social distancing and the fact that they don't have uh, very many people in here right now. So you can't come around the back side here to get back out. But that's okay. There's still plenty of pool to go around right now. But we're back in the main pool area over here, and they have the day beds out this time. So they'll pull out the day beds for uh, just for weekends, for the most part, it seems. And then, of course, you have the reserved uh, pool beds over here. Yeah, I bet you, you could probably get a good uh, day bed or a pool bed really cheap today, since it looks uh, pretty much abandoned. And I think they're only open until about six, so that's something to consider. So no, uh, yeah, no DJ today, no DJ spinning. They got tracks are bumping, but no DJ spinning. And people are bumping their own tracks. So that's cool. Another hot tub over there, but that's cornered off. And of course you're back to the main pool. And then the little fountains. Actually, it's kind of funny, the sheep fountains are off, the ram fountains. I remember those were usually on and if you want to rinse off before you uh, hit your room over here then you actually do have the kind of rinsing shower heads for when you're in the bathing suit. And you can also see your tower rooms from up there. And you can probably see my room somewhere up that way too. But unfortunately it looks like the snack bar is still closed. So I'll have to go inside to go find something to eat. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and go do that instead. All right there, Spinners and Sharks. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's pool tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we come back to the Luxor, I think we're actually going to see how our brunch turned out. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. 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 Viva,